Well, this is the stuff that came out of the kiln today, so I thought I'd just do a quick video and share it with you so you can see I'm starting to get a little bit less wonky with it. <laughs> For those of you that haven't met him yet uh, in a past video, this is my bird, Carlos Santana. And the reason why I'm showing him to you is because I did make a little piece of pottery with a picture of him on it that I tried to paint. <laughs> so that's my crazy little guy. So this is uh, the pottery that just came out of the kiln. This piece here, um, it's not showing up in the lighting all that great, but what it is is it's sky with clouds and then it's got little trees and it's got some mountains in the background and a little sun so and then I tried my hand at doing some with just uh, different color glazes so um, tried to just kind of do a little bit of an assortment of stuff so and uh, you can see I mean they're still a little wonky but you know overall the shape and form of them is getting a little bit better so i've tried to do kind of a <clears throat> a little bit of underglaze and a little bit so that's red underglaze and then i put clear glaze on top of it but you can see like compared to the others that i've done in the past these ones are a little bit more even and uh yeah well as i say a little bit less wonky so and uh, I'm having so much fun doing this. So I just figured I'd just post these and just show you what uh, what they look like. So this one here has got, uh, see, there's Carlos on it. That's why I showed him to you at the beginning of the video. So there's Carlos on a little branch with flowers on the other side of his vase. <laughs> and uh, this one here I did in kind of a... It doesn't look purple, but it's actually kind of a mauve color. And then this one here is like a little planter pot that I thought uh, would look good with uh, a plant inside of it. And this one, the bottom of it is gray and the top is kind of a lime green color. And uh, it's a little bit bigger than some of my other pottery, a more 112 scale. So. I'm I'm trying to make stuff as small as I can possibly make it. So, and I just love that denim blue. I think that's like such a pretty color. And then this one here is definitely for my um, train kitchen. So it's orange with little red dots in the center of those uh, those little flowers that are done in black. And see now here, that's very wonky. Do you see how it's like kind of curved out on the left hand side? So um, that's probably the worst piece in the entire batch. But I kept it because like, why not? Like, I mean, I might as well be able to see how my work is changing. This one here, I really like the way that turned out. So it's a dark charcoal gray with um, blue, like a very dark blue on it. So and it, I think the painting on it turned out well. This one I'm pretty proud of. Actually, my friend said, where did you get the little stencil? And actually, I have painted that, so I'm quite pleased with it. I think that's quite a good pot. So as I say, each, each time I do it, I just get a little bit better at it. This one's slightly wonky, but not too bad. I like the blue and white. It's um, It's kind of different. And this one I did little red flowers with yellow centers. And what else do I have here? Oh yeah, this one is kind of different. So that one's um, the darker clay. And then I did green on the inside. And then I did blue and uh, dark blue on the outside, the little flowers. And this one here is again in that denim blue. I'm quite, I'm quite attracted to that color. I think it's good. And that one's also that denim blue. So that there's actually a pair of those. They actually match. 
and then this one here is again the same color um, different shape and this is where I'm starting to practice to get ready to do uh, little cups so I haven't put handles on any in this batch, but my next batch definitely has cups with handles. So it's really hard, though, to make them all identical size, like to make a set. And that's a very tiny little vase that would look uh, really good as a floor vase in a 148 scale setting. Um, it's a little bit too big to actually be a true 148 scale, but it's still quite cool. So there you go. That's everything that came out of the kiln today. So I'm quite pleased with uh, I'm quite pleased with this work. And oh my goodness, you have no idea how much I enjoy it. It is so much fun. If you enjoyed today's video and would like to help support my channel, you can do so by buying me a coffee. Just go to www.buymeacoffee.com slash Lisa Dobo. I'd like to thank everyone that has helped to support my channel by buying me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. You have no idea how much I appreciate it. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing because it really does help my channel grow. And please re-hit that notification bell because they keep on turning notifications off. YouTube, ah, <laughs> what can you do? Well, once again, have the best day ever.